Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no short run where I'm trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty without firing a single shot or using a single explosive. Damn right, it is time for another great mission, Operation Jack Gears, where we're trying to um, just sabotage the transmitter. The other ones were either blocked by side trips that we couldn't fulfill or were protect the device mission. <laughs> which you never want to do. So, without further ado, let's get a team together and jump right into the mix. We got two uh, specialists and let's get a couple of rangers going. Scorch here is tired, but I cannot take that as an excuse, to be honest, so she needs to perform. And Quick Feet actually also needs to perform. I'm sorry, buddy, but um, there's really no excuse for not going in. Good, Halo here takes a Mimic Beacon and... A mine shield also has the advanced blade. We got the um, axes over here, and we got um, the katana right there. Sue Cougar will take a school jack plus a med kit. Sonar takes school jack plus med kit, and we only have two mimic beacons. Is that enough? Not sure. How about Sukuber takes another one and we're just reducing his ability to heal, that's fine. Three Mimic Beacons, four Mind Shields, two Squirrel Jakes. Let's go, baby, let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Look at that, we landed in the sewers and it's yet again another mission where we need to be like super fast only a few rounds oh boy that is a long distance luckily we put up our running boots and with them we can just charge in Pretty far. Yeah, we're probably going to take the high ground. I'm not seeing any transmitters here. I would guess there's maybe one over here, but we gotta be like super careful to get them, get all of uh, them, just to prolong the over mission there. timer a bit more. Charging in with Halo. Matter of fact, dashing in. Target spotted. Understood. Moving out. Moving up. Halo at least seems to, seems to have spotted. Yep, he has spotted one of the transmitters. All right, sonar moves all the way up there, and quick feet moves up as well. I just want to make sure everyone is getting as as much of uh, of a sprint as po uh, as possible. In those situations, there is a resistance order that increases your speed for the first two rounds in concealment by four. That is pretty damn good. And of course, we have the nastiest of packs right there. Fucking mutant pack. All right. I strike for my people. We're immediately going to trigger. No chance of there is now. no uh, debate whether or not this is going to be kind of a stealth run. And of 
course, we're triggering two packs right away. I cannot remember the last time that I've seen so many mutants in the late game. And, and I'm not 100% sure why it happens, but it is fascinating if you think about it. Normally, you would not see these guys that deep into uh, the mission because they are considered to be a, relatively speaking, weak unit. For whatever reason, though, they're still here. Good, let's see who's throwing the Mimic Beacon. Let's move over here, even if we're standing in the open, we, we, we will be the one throwing the Mimic Beacon. Yeah. Still could be counter-attacked, I don't like that. Also don't like um, also don't like when this guy here explodes. I mean we could use frostbite in order to prevent him from counterattacking, right? Not a bad idea. And I tell you Okay, never mind. 80% misses. I was about to say, if we frostbite him, then kill him, then we can shift two teamworks into him and kill that guy here without further ado. But that's unfortunately not how it works, at least not today. Nice hit. The enemy should fear us. This here would be the kill. That's a kill, but we do not have emplaceable and untouchable yet, so can't do the full combo. Good, we got combat protocol. Uh, that could take care of the mutants relatively easy. And let's just start hitting these guys here. Those two are bondmates, so they can shift over actions. Common protocol. Just getting that mutant down. We're parrying. And... I think just for the sake of making sure that he's not going to be hit, let's give him an aid protocol and kill the mutant. All right, mutant down. Let's place the beacon right there. Ah, not 
not sure if we can beat him with this team. Savor the moat. The problem is immune to melee damage and then combine it with regeneration, so there's a pretty high chance that we're it's actually like not going to be lost. able to kill him. He won't be a huge uh, disturbance and we can we should try to still counter the dark event. But yeah, without a Shadow of a Doubt, that is going to suck the fight against him. So -called peacekeepers. Well, look at that. We got ourselves yet another fight. Okay. So this here would hit all of them and potentially destroy the device at the same time. Which is exactly what we would want to do. Ah, at least the device, unfortunately, untouched. The elders were more than a little unhappy that you killed off one of my siblings. I guess it's time I step up my game. We've spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. Good. We're continuing here. Let's parry. Teamwork. Right. We're probably going to use him for Mimic Beacon. I don't see any out uh, with, uh, without at least taking some damage, unfortunately. I would like to know if the sword, since it never misses, would trigger Blade Storm. It probably would. Oh, the mutant retaliation, rather. Taken care of. Don't get so excited. Those guys Advanced teamwork. And we're combat protocoling. Trying to get the Spectre down. All right, moving up. At least the network separation timer now stop. That is an advantage for us. Tiny bit of damage, but not a kill. That's a kill. Into implacable. And since he has untouchable, he could theoretically take on that mutant. You have 
let's try that. He has untouchable. So technically, even if there is a retaliation, nothing should happen. As I was expecting, Untouchable prevented him from taking damage. And then we blade stormed. Finally, Common Protocol got this guy down. Thank God. This here plus blade storm should destroy the Andromedon. Didn't help my king much. Let's see how it works out for you. The Phonic Storm. Completely unload us. That is not very good. We need, we need the extra power. This world is ours. Continuing to attack him. Now disoriented, but we're getting more focus, and that also leads into an option to parry. Second Mimic Beacon. That's the trigger for Bladestorm. Well, would you look at that? Enemy eliminated. All right, we got ourselves the biggest enemy of uh, of the radar for now. That is a problem. We're burning. My cover will only hold so long. Okay, and finally the hunter who shoots into the second parry. Something must be off. Don't make this too easy on me. Good. We are officially burning. We've used most of our cooldowns. Here's the third mimic beacon that we don't want to use. Uh, ah, well, we're probably going to use it now. Brandon heal to get Zirkim up. Problem that I'm seeing is. Oh, he will automatically start burning. Well, that's the case. Might as well do it in style. And start to hit, hit the purifier. There we go, that's the soft enough. Carrying. And that's the kill. That it was a bit wasteful, but in the end it worked out.
So Zirkim gets an 8 protocol. And let's try to take over that Andromedon, or at least shut it down. Hundred percent chance to disable. Happy to do that. Controlling it wouldn't have been bad as well, but we can do that next turn. We might be able to shred the chosen. I'm not sure how we're going to deal damage afterwards to him, but at least the shredding part that could work. This here will be an explosion. I'll not. Uh, I will not cluster up. Instead, we're just going to help getting a bit more network separation done. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. We only need to alive. It's open season on the rest. Yeah. Can't really do much about that, unfortunately. That's a pretty nasty pack that he summoned. He's going to try, try to take a shot. Probably into parry again. Angle. Or not. Better hold your ears. I'm under attack here! Fine. Okay. I'll give you a sporting chance. Head now. Moving up. Hey, we're protocol. Ah, of course, this time we failed the fifty fifty. Too bad. Would have been fantastic to take one of those over. It's still okay. So we got a Mimic Beacon as a last minute resort. Charging in and removing their Overwatch. Second time that Frost Bite missed. That is suboptimal. So you can move in. Nice little hit, and Bladestorm should kill both of them. Out of curiosity, does this here deal damage? It should. He's immune. But he will hopefully still fall for it. Moving up. Hit. That won't be enough to kill it though. Yeah, and the Mimic Beacon would be too far away. That is unfortunate. That's some hit. Deals a lot of damage but does not kill. And we're probably going to take a smack back. Incoming, over here. This one might be carrying 
All right. Kill confirmed. Superior speed. That is a very nice uh, PCS. Unfortunately, that will be a couple of rockets. Unfortunate. We're taking a lot of damage now. Right on the mark. Give him a heal. Sukuger definitely needs to heal so that the bleeding would will stop. But in terms of just dealing with all of the crap here. Kill the Andromedon. Wonderful, implacable, untouchable. I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. Moving into the open so that he might take a shot, uh, that he might consider taking a shot at us. We're moving to the other side. Let's try to get a promotion here. Fantastic. Exactly what we were looking for. And... Let's get... The mission up and done. Because I... I don't think that we will be able to actually win the fight against the Chosen. Not with the team com uh, composition. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Roger that. Will be another of those situation. Another one of those situations where we're essentially just trying to flee from uh, the Chosen. That doesn't unfortunately not trigger any more focus. So we're just going to parry. And yeah, he's trying to pick up uh, pick up the guys from the back line. I'm just testing the waters. Untouchable, my friend. Very good. All right. Got it covered. Full cover. I will tear you apart. Good. We're getting some more parry stacks here. And everyone else really just moves away Goodbye. let's reconceal in the hopes Bye. of not being spotted out immediately same thing over here Double time. So we're going to evacuate next turn Fed evacuation and we won't be able to complete the mission with the chosen but we will be able to at least evacuate I see 
The dark event will be countered. Moving to designated position. We won't lose uh, the region, so that's a positive one as well. And we only took moderate damage. I mean, yeah, some of them will probably be wounded. But overall, it is it was an acceptable mission. Like I said, the melee immunity uh, makes it incredibly hard to do anything against him without having psi operators. Good. Lightly wounded, gravely wounded for five days. And we got a promotion. Well, that's fine. Plate some. Yes, please. And superior speed. We have countered infestation, which I think is uh, mm, chrysalids on every single mission with uh, civilians. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Good. Superior uh, speed. We got advanced speed here, which is already quite good. Quick feet has superior health. Halo has superior speed. And Zirkim has advanced dodge. Yeah, advanced agility. I think with his suit, Zirkim is more than okay when it comes to movement. It's a little upgrade here. That way everybody has superior speed. Good. Not the worst outcome ever. But not the best either. Let's heal shortly. And once we're done with that, I'd consider uh, scanning for something. Overall, we got 150 so intel. I think. Out a new trick, eh? I'm not sure I think we wanted to build a tower here, right? Certainly Can certainly make contact here already. already. Done. Easy. Communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Yeah, but we need two additional contacts, which is fine. Not going to build an extra system for that. Can easily. Uh, mm, get that by resistance orders or simply by scanning or as reward uh, for covert ops missions. Good. Not much that we can really take here. Experimental armor is always a nice one. We got quite a bit of that. And the rest, let me tell you, it's a shame. It shows how limited the run is if I have all the resources in the game and yet I cannot really build something. Down civilians hiding in their homes doesn't make for much sport. But it's the only way I'm going to keep the elders off my back. Good, we got insanity. Fantastic. Us to try and recapture you, Commander. And are spreading terror Thesis is resistance. good. I like it. We'll need to pay close and wait a second, we just got all of the negative traits removed. That's good. Soon the bond training will also be done. But yeah, uh, the, the upgrade really worked well so far. There is the bond training, the level 3, fantastic. But we don't have any negative traits at the moment and no improvements for soldier bonds either it's a bit disheartening Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to wow look at the monthly supplies now over a thousand efforts have proven to be 
so mediocre. There are only so many places you can hide. Well, we got another chance for sealed armor and made a hole. I think sealed armor would be nice to counter. To finding us, Commander. We should use every opportunity we have to take them out before Speed of all armor research is increased by 15%. You know, that's really not doing a lot. For the defeat of the elders. Yeah, well, we don't need the uh, supplies right now. Signal's coming through clear. Good. What are we going to do? Let's start with um, getting the supplies. Really have so much income now that the game just wants us to continue the storyline, which is fine. We already got nine scientists and quite a bit of research. Also got a laboratory, so that is fine. We're doing what we can. More intel. Uh, being inspired, that is good. Let's do that. A number of valuable applications stemming from this and very soon we're going to transition over to Shadow Chamber. The is that will open a few missions, um, just so that, that we can already start with it. Second Null Lens is very helpful for us. And we're now in that uh, point where we only need the last abilities. So... We really need that. Why not? I think Fuse might not be bad either. I'll just... I want both of them fully upgraded and then we can start uh, with the fresh recruits. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. I am ready to begin on your order. Good. How about we're doing As the mission. remaining uh, mm, autopsies? My predecessor was something of a brute when it came to hand. And that should give us all of the update, uh, all of uh, the upgrades that we need. Good. We're pretty much done with everything here. Just need more contacts, and that's about it. Avenger plotting new course. Just for completion's Mark sake, because it does not really cost us anything. I mean, we can't put anything here. We Might as well. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity. To Might spare, as well put him in there. We can't expand our facilities further. Good. So that will uh, definitely solve our resistance uh, contact uh, issue. Not that we had one. Typically, um, you can easily get those uh, from other sources, but we we really don't have anything that we need to do at this point. Edwin Priest corpses. Uh, yeah, I think you can definitely have those officers. Yeah, why not? And stun lancers. Be my guest. Yeah, we don't need more supplies. We're fine. We don't need focus or perception either. Okay. And we need none of the upgrades, which shows uh, uh, which shows you just how strange this run is. We're going to research for additional intel because that's what we need in order to make contact. And Mike the Public, bravo! Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. The word from the medical team is they'll all be... Good, wait a second, wait a second. So the effect of all weapon modifications is increased. That is super powerful, Flame Legion. Um, but nothing that we would need right now. Okay, what else do we need? Promotion? Not bad. I like it. Reduce avatar progress and nine dodge. Yes, that is... Um, wait, 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 wait. Not divert. 
that is something that Roby can do. Put a couple of supplies there and let's put Judge on it together with him. It'll take nine days. That is fantastic. This here is awesome. So let's do that. And we can look at the other options afterwards. Mike the Public Bravo just joined us as a new ranger and he will fill the spot uh, that we had when we were unable to, to field um, soldiers of a sergeant rank. Blade Storm, yes. And shadows, uh, Shadow Step. That's good. Let's continue the um, tactic school here. Roland Washington is going to become another ranger. Upgrade another bond. Yes, please. And although he's lightly wounded, I would want to give him ghost before we are forgetting it. That is an important one. Sinking in all of our points into making Hogbite even a bit better. And then how about we're removing his negative traits? That would be fantastic as well. Good, there's another supply rate. Oh, surgical, only three. Uh, mm of our soldiers are allowed on that. That's going to be an interesting mission uh, because Surgical is a difficult side trap and I absolutely love playing with it. Uh, it kind of was the type of side trap that got me into um, the uh, four men, two men and solo runs. So yeah, let's do that. I think that that'll that'll be fun. And there's also a gatekeeper. If we're doing that successfully, the gatekeeper can be researched, and then we get a nice upgrade for our psi amplifiers. Hogbat could be sent into the mission. It's probably a good idea to do that. The other alternative is using scorch. I mean, we can put Hogbert in, I guess. How many negative... How many negatives does he have currently? He has a lot of positives, that's for sure. And him having Ghost is going to be super good on that mission. Yeah, he does not have negatives apparently at this point, which would be great. I think we've cleansed it maybe even. So yeah, Hogbite plus Sonar. Um, and maybe Zirkim. Sonar Zirkim with level two bond. That's a good one for action um, economy. Yeah, I think that I think I can work with that. Probably going to have some issues with the gatekeeper and so on. But that should be fine. I mean, the easy way out would be to take a Psy operative because they are just so strong. Um, if you take one of them um, with their abilities, they would definitely um, they would uh, definitely make it a uh, walk in the park. But no, I think we're going with Templar, Specialist and Ranger. Sounds like a good team for me. But that will happen in the next uh, run, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to leave a comment and a like uh, below and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that helps it to grow. Thank you and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.